Alright friends, we're going to make a rock, paper, scissors game here in Python and it's going to be so text-based you're going to love it. And by love it, I mean you're going to tolerate it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> so here we go. I'm in Replit and I'm going to go to create. Mine's got this cool little create like thon right there, like already ready, ready already because it knows that I just do that all the time but you might want to go over here and do it that way too I guess the old way I want to do it the new way though let's try it let's see what happens all right so I'm gonna call this RP oh man I already used RPS when I was practicing for this one rock paper scissors scissors is so hard to spell you're gonna watch me struggle with this the entire video here okay rock paper scissors oh I should separate it with underscores because that's illegible so we're going to make some rock, paper, scissors. That way you don't have to have friends like me. I mean, not have friends. Like, I don't have friends. You know what I mean? Like, you could be like me and not have friends and still play rock, paper, scissors. That's our goal here. So let's uh, jam out some pseudocode just really quick here. Let's think about it. When we play rock, paper, scissors, your partner, your person you're playing against, your adversary is going to throw a rock, a paper, or a scissors. And you, at the same time, are going to do that as well. But realistically, it doesn't have to happen literally at the same time, right? You know, like if you didn't know what they were doing, they already decided, that would be okay. Or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. I don't know why I get down these rabbit holes. So you're going to do rock, paper, or scissors, and they are too. Then we're going to have to keep score. You know, it's a computer, so we might as well make it do the extra work. So we'll make the computer do the extra work and decide like you know did you win lose or draw so let's see here let's think about how the pseudocode is going to roll then so we'll make a list rock paper or scissors and we'll let the computer choose between them randomly and then the player will choose rock paper or scissors and then uh, we'll compare the results that the player typed and what the computer typed and then you know figure out who won and lost and if you're a total loser or not of course you're not. I know. You're, I know you're. I know you have friends. Okay. I know you have friends. That was pretty lousy pseudocode. Forgive me. Let's just get right to work here because you don't have all the time in the world. Neither do I. All right. So we're gonna import random because we're gonna be needing that. Not here. On the left side. Import random, and let's make our list. I'm gonna call them throws equals square brace brace. It's brace. It's bracket. Whatever. Math. Rock. Paper. And scissors. Scissors. It's, it's hard. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that so you don't have to watch me uh, type that this whole time. Okay, cool. Let's just go ahead and just make this game loop endlessly so that you can never escape from it. Because that's the way rock, paper, scissors should be. <laughs> uh, that's what this wild true is going to do. It's going to make a never-ending loop where it's just going to keep looping and trying to get you to play forever and ever and ever. Now we're going to create our adversary's throw. So we're going to do that right from the start. And it's going to be the computer. So we're going to say computer, computer equals. So is we're going to have the computer randomly choose one of the throws and so that is a list of throws so we have list item one two and three but in python lists start with zero so this is zero would be rock we can kind of use this cool little shorthand to do this so like uh check it out here here ready let me just get rid of this for a second i'll just show you you don't have to do don't do this on yours stop stop just just watch me watch so if i say throw zero and i run it on the left hand side over here that should say error. Oh, uh, throws. Oh, uh, yeah. Look. Uh, okay. I'll just delete that stupid S. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, I didn't tell it to print it. Oh, shoot. Pr uh, computer. Okay, now let's try running that stupid thing. You go. And if I keep running it, it should be randomly different things. Oh, wait, no, it's never going to be randomly different things. There's always one here. But anyway, you get the idea. So two, it'll just say paper. Or, I mean, one, it'll say paper. Two, it'll say scissors. So you get how that goes. All right, great. So let's delete that. And back to the while true. While, capital T, true. By the way, it's a great idea to do that, to try 
your code out, you know, in midst of coding. Anyway, so, but instead of, like, coding it directly like that to be one, two, or three, we're going to say rand int for integer, rand int, oh, random dot rand int. Oh, man, I'm really making lots of mistakes. I'm just random dot rand int zero comma two. All right, cool. So hopefully right now you believe that that will work because that's just going to randomly choose one or the other. Okay, let me just add some space in here. The space doesn't mean anything, but it helps my brain. I, my brain needs all the help I can get. Uh, now let's get the uh, player's uh, input. So no, I want to add another space there, but I think I'm being as fast. All right, so player. Here you go, player. It's your turn. Player. So player with an A. Equal input because we're going to get them to type. Input. And I know people are lazy, so instead of getting them to type capital R, rock, capital P, paper, whatever, all that, nobody capitalizes, and nobody wants to type out RP or S, or, or I mean, like, bully. So we're going to do it as RP or S. So we're going to say R, P, so commas in between, in betwixt. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Fat fingers. Hey. Does, does a comma go here? Or, that's a three. All right, and I like the greater than thing. If you've ever seen any of my videos, you know, you know. When you know, you know, right? Okay, cool. So there's different ways I can do this, um, but I'm going to just map these now to uh, R to rock, P to paper, and S to scissors. So I'm going to say if equals equals, so now I'm testing to see um, is it an R? That's what equals equals is saying. Is it an R? Uh, now it's, then I'm going to set it to be player equals capital R rock. Here we are. The player has typed R. We're going to switch that to rock, capital R rock, because we know that they're lazy and they don't want to type out that. So now we're going to say or ID then if computer equals equals player then they tied, right? So we'll just print out uh, that you tied. Tied. Do you know how mermaids wash their tails? What they use to wash their tails? I mean, they use Tide. Because <laughs> okay. if we know that they're not Tied, now we also know that players rock. So we're going to say if computer equals equals capital P paper paper colon, then we'll print. All right, so their rock, computer's paper, paper covers rock. And in case they don't know, you lose. Loser. Now we can finally say if it's not rock, because they're not the same, and if it's not paper, then it must be scissors, but we don't have to type scissors because we know that it, that's the only other option. So now we're just going to write print. So your rock, so rock crushes scissors, right? So backslash n to make a new line. Oh shoot! Yeah, do that. Do that here too. New line. Oh, it's mad. See this underliney bit? It's mad because I forgot the quote there. Man, everything is all messed up. I'm all crazy. Uh, rock crushes scissors. Rock is. S -S, 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 S S O R S. You win. All right, super dupe. I'm probably dumb for copying all this, but I am going to. We're going to go back in line with the if over here. See the line? And we're going to paste this in V. Uh, I'm going to add a space. It doesn't matter. This is optional. If they type P, then player equals capital P paper. All right, cool. If they're the same, then you tied. That doesn't change. We know that the computer is not paper, so let's go with uh, scissors now. A real, real mental block here. So this is going to be a lot of the same thing. No. The player's paper. Scissors. Cut paper. Let me just delete all this. 
to be cut. You lose. Great. Okay. So it's not scissors. It's not paper, so it must be rock. Paper covers rock, right? All right, let me just make sure this makes sense. The player is P, paper covers rock, you win, scissors cut paper, you lose, great, all right, cool. So finally, back to in line with, uh, this is LF, sorry. In line with all that other stuff, I'm gonna copy this once again. V, all right, so now LF uh, player is S. Then we're just gonna scissors. V. Okay, cool. So if the player is scissors, then they're the same, then they're scissors. So now we can kind of go back and say, okay, rock crushes scissors. I just noticed I didn't type an N there somehow. Uh, rock crushes scissors. You lose. Finally, Scissors cuts paper, you win. All right, great. And finally, 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 all the way back, uh, two spaces over, in line with all these other LFs, is the else line. They type something wacky, it didn't make sense. Print, and we'll give them a, a lovely message like, no, lowercase n, silly. Wow, wow, wow. What? Type. Oh my god, I can't type. N, N, R, N, A, P, or N, S. Wow, I'm really am struggling here. Bam. All right. Let's see if that works. If I type R, it works. Oh, my chair is really squeaky. Yeah, it's rock crushes scissors every time. That seems like that's a problem. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, P. Seems like that works okay. And if, and if I type other rando stuff, you can see it doesn't, it doesn't get it. So that's awesome. So it seems like it totally works. Yay. We could, like, keep score if we wanted to. I mean, we could totally add a score to this. That seems crazy. If we wanted to, basically every time we won, we could increment a wins, and every time we lose, we could increment a lose. Do you want to do that real fast? Let's do it. Ready? Let's keep score. So we'll say score. Let's say player score. Underscore. <laughs> underscore between the two. Player score equals uh, zero. And then I'll say... Computer score equals zero. And now I can just print the score, right? So I can just say print. Capital P. Let's make this neat. Be neat. Player score colon. And now I'm going to just write... Um, we're just going to do an F string. So we'll do um, a message. So message doesn't have any special meaning. I'm just uh, using that as a variable name. Player score, and then I'll just say uh, curly brace. B, curly brace. And then comma, computer score. colon, curly brace, V, curly brace. All right, cool. So now that should hopefully make sense. And now um, I need to print the message out. So I can say print, and I'm just put parentheses, message, like that. It's not in quotes because it, it's a variable name. Uh, so let's run that and just see. Does it just say score? Run. Player score zero, computer score zero. Okay, cool. So now, each time then you lose, we're just going to add one to uh, 
either one. So if you lose, we're add one to the computer. So I'll just say copy and check out this cool math. And I'm going to say plus equals one. And that'll take whatever it used to be and make it set to one more than what it used to be. So I'll do that after the computer wins each time. There, and now I'll just do the same basic thing, but now I'll say player score after that. Plus equals one. And I'll copy that. So each time the player wins, you add, okay, let's see, does that work? Let's say P. Oh, I'm, I'm killing it. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Can't win. Oh, I lost. There's my rock, paper, scissors game. It's not that terrible. The only other thing that I think would be really totally awesome would be to add a screen clear that should be a capital C computer score. I just Googled this. Honestly, I don't really understand what, but I'm going to just paste that in there. This is pasting a special character that should make it and clear the screen. So now it's clear, and now if I type, uh, all right. So yeah, that's some kind of weird special character. Thank you, Google, for finding that for me. So there's my rock, paper, scissors game. All right, go have a nice day. Go outside. Go see the sun.